This is Math 142. We're going to look at just the second part of section 10.5. And remember, we're dealing with conics in a polar setting for these. And uh, what I want to do is convert from polar to rectangular. So in other words, I'm going to give you something that looks like uh, this. And I'm going to ask you to write its equivalent um, in rectangular coordinates. So, before we get uh, too carried away with this, I want to remind you of a couple of relationships, and that's that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and that's x is equivalent to r times cosine theta, and y is equivalent to r times sine theta. Great. Uh, having those pieces right there, the rest of it is just going to be a little bit of algebra. So let's go ahead and give that a go for this. So I want to rewrite this. This is in polar, right? R and theta, R theta. I want to rewrite it in terms of um, do, do, do rectangular. So a little bit of space. So first thing I notice is I have this. I, this is a fraction. I'm not real happy with that fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator to, to get it out of there. So I'm going to multiply this side by... That, I'm going to multiply this side by it. And on the right-hand side, I'm just left with a 1. On the left-hand side, I can distribute that r into there. So I have 5r minus 5r sine theta. Let's take care of what we know right now. We know that um, we know r sine theta. We know that this is a y. So let's just replace that with a y right now, and then we'll worry about the rest of it. So 5r minus 5y equals 1. Okay, so far so uh, decent. Um, I just have an r, but really I want an r squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, at least the 5r all alone and then square both sides. So I could add 5y to both sides. And, you know, I, I rewrote it as 5y early just so I didn't have to lug around all the r sine theta stuff. And plus, that's my goal, to get it into this form. And then on this side, I just have 5r. And now, um, I want an r squared, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. And that's a beautiful thing. 5r uh, squared, both the 5 and the r squared, so 25r squared. And when I square 1 plus 5y... Remember what it means to square something. It means multiply it by itself. You're going 1 plus 5y multiplied by 1 plus 5y. And you multiply that out, you get 1. You get 2 of those 5y's, so plus 10y. And you get 5y times 5y, which, uh, which is 25y squared. Still pretty good. I got rid of all the r's and x's over here. I haven't gotten rid of them over here, but I know that r squared is x squared plus y squared. So I'm going to replace that r squared with an x squared plus y squared. Still multiplied by 25, and I'm not going to rewrite it, but I still have this right side over here. Distribute this into here. So now I have 25x squared plus 25y squared equals 1 plus 10y plus 25y squared. And, uh, just to get it all together, you can either get this right side equal to 1 or get it equal to 0. Um, but let's, let's do that. Let's, let's get it equal to 1 in this case. Uh, subtract 25y squared from both sides, which is nice. That goes away. And subtract 10y from both sides. And I might write this as 25x squared minus 10y equals 1. And if you want it equal to 0, subtract the 1. There you go. You got that. It's pretty easy to check if you're right, right? Like you could graph that in Desmos and then go back and then also graph your original equation in Desmos and they'll, they'll give you the same shape. They'll show you the same shape. Let's do, uh, let's do another one. Just one more. This will be a, a reasonably short lecture. Same sort of idea. I want to get rid of R's and thetas, get everything just in terms of X's and Y's. So how about I multiply both sides by that denominator? Over here, it divides out. Distribute that r into there. And that r cos theta, that's a beautiful thing because that is just an x. So I'm going to place this right here with an x. And one of my r's is gone and my theta is gone. 
still want to get rid of this r, uh, which is x squared plus y squared. So how about I, I, well, r squared is that. So how about I get it alone and then square it? So subtract 2x from both sides, get it out of there. And now I've got r equals 2 minus 2x. So then from here, uh, I want an r squared, so I'm going to square both sides. Square this side. Square this side. Um, here I've got r squared, so that's x squared plus y squared. Over this side, I've got to multiply it out. Remember, this isn't just 4 minus, uh, plus 4x. So you've got to multiply it out. Squared means times itself. This would be 4 minus 2 of those 4x's, so minus 8x. Uh, negative 2x times negative 2x is positive 4x squared. And then what you could do is you could move everything over to the right-hand side, right? Subtract the 4x squared. So if I subtract the 4x squared, that gives me a negative 3x squared. Um, that y squared is still there. Add the 8x. If you wanted it equal to 1, you could divide everything by 4 at this point. Or if you just wanted to make it equal to 0, you could subtract 4 from both sides and say equals 0. And you are there. Um, all of these problems are like this. So get the, get the practice in. This is really the part uh, to know. And then it's just algebra from then on out. Hey, post any questions that you have or message me. And good luck getting this practice in.